بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله in a beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said among the most righteous of deeds is that a man maintains relations with the people whom his father liked or loved and this is a hadith in Sahih Tirmidhi Ahabba Tifillah this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ shows us not only the importance of the ties of kinship, of maintaining ties with our, our, our families and our distant kin and relatives, and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings, Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen, but also, Ahabatifillah, it shows us that after our parents have moved on if we're alive and we still have a means of keeping ties it, it also shows us the importance of keeping ties with the near of kin meaning that if your father had a best friend or someone who was beloved to him or someone who was like an adopted family member then to maintain goodness and ties with those elders is very important because this is someone that your father loved and this is a form of obedience to Allah and this is in, uh, and this is in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so it shows us Ahabatifillah that maintaining good ties of kinship and with near of kin is a part of worship in Islam that shows us the beauty of Islam. There are so many different ways of worshiping Allah. And it shows us, Ahabatifillah, also, that manners is of great importance in Islam. So many people take this for granted. Some of our brothers and sisters that are even from Ahlul Sunnah, they make a mistake in this regard, that they treat everyone who they don't believe is on what they're upon in understanding Islam, they treat them bad, but no. If you were to understand the ahadith of the Prophet Wasallam, and you were to understand the verses of the Qur'an where Allah encourages us to maintain good ties with people and to be one of the best in characteristic because the Prophet Wasallam was the best in character. And the Prophet Wasallam said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَحَشَ الْبَدِي the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and I believe it's a hadith, in Sahih Tirmidhi, I believe, or in Tirmidhi, I don't recall, that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of a believer on the Day of Judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So good manners, Ahabatif Allah, is something you can never discount. And that is one of the characteristics of Ahlul Sunnah, that we should strive our best to have good manners. People respect a person of good manners. Non-Muslims, they respect that. Muslims, they respect that. Ahlul Bid'ah respects that. If you want to call them to the Sunnah, but if your thing is you just want to have violence and you want to have harshness, you want to have sternness, okay. But if you want to show righteousness and that which is going to bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that doesn't mean we don't at some times be harsh with Ahl Bidda, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, is more, mostly you get good results in this life by doing good and showing mercy and kindness and gentleness. People respect that more over than they respect the other way of being harsh. Especially when it comes to calling them to something. Very few people say, yeah, I want to embrace Islam and you have a, a gun to their head. Or you are causing them harm. They don't see Islam in, in a, a positive light in that respect. So, from common sense and from experience 
And from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, first and foremost, we see that mercy and kindness and gentleness goes a lot further than harshness and sternness. And they both have a place. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and free our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.